Hello West Michigan, I'm Linda Balkema and we are here at the VFW on Getty in Muskegon and they have the Traveling Vietnam Memorial Wall which shows all of the Michigan Vietnam men that we lost, men and women that we lost. And with me is Ron DeWard, is that correct? Correct. correct. And Linda? Yes. Tell me exactly what happened today bringing this in. Well today it started at our house at about 1230 down on Port Sheldon Road down in Holland. We had Rolling Thunder, Patriot Guard come in, and one other one, I believe, Forgotten Eagles, Forgotten Eagles came in. And we came up here with an escort of bikes of about 35 to 37 motorcycles, which is really an awesome feeling to come in. And what a beautiful day you had for it, our first beautiful day in forever. <laughs> and, and the Muskegon County and the City of Muskegon Police did us a beautiful job of escorting us and stopping traffic for it. Once we got into Muskegon County, we never stopped oh. all the way here. The so. joy of hitting the red lights and legally going through. <laughs> <laughs> legally going through those lights. Well, tell me about this wall. How many times have you brought this or traveled with this wall? This wall was originally built back in 1987. At that time, it was on a float. We have two walls like this, one on each side of a float that we used in Tulip Time, Blossom Festival. It's been Coast in Frank Coast Guard and Frankenmuth. But now, then we put it away in 91 because we had some problems and everything. So it's been out of commission since then till two years ago. And now we've brought it back out, and we just go to fairs occasions like this and then we go to special events like we were at LZ Michigan last year with it which was a beautiful event and for, from them up there we say thank you and next by the time if we come back to bike time which is looking possible we will be bringing our brand new wall in which is black Corian laser engraved wow. this wall is silk screened on Formica and it is wearing so, okay. Yeah. Wow, and it does have, let, I'm just looking at the numbers here, 2,648. That is, that is the old number. We have added six new numbers since they have found more in Actually, Vietnam. it's more than that. Now it's yeah. 2,661 names. 2,661 names yep. from Michigan. Yep. Okay, and that's, and that's just Michigan. And you know, the other great thing about bringing this is that it gives people the opportunity who have never experienced the Vietnam Wall in D.C. I have had the privilege of experiencing that twice, and it's very moving. But this um, also educates uh, many of our young people who really don't know about Vietnam and don't think about, we always think about World War II. My father was a World War II veteran, as was, were both of my uncles. Um, but Vietnam, it, it's very important that it's not forgotten in history and that we recognize all of those soldiers that came back and those that have been are gone and never forgotten. Um, tell me a little bit more about upcoming, you're saying in bike time in July here in Muskegon? We were here last year for one day. Uh, we came, we got the call on what? 18 hours early. Yeah, I was going to say it was Friday. They called us and said, can you be here Saturday? And well, if we can get the people, we'll be here. We managed to get them all together, and it was unbelievable the turnout we had. It was so great. Well, it's, it's kind of, when you say Rolling Thunder, there's a lot of Harley riders that are former Vietnam veterans, and, and I think it's just very personal to them. It's uh, that camaraderie that they feel both as being veterans and serving in the Vietnam War, which was a very different war. For, for our soldiers. It was so different. It was so different. It wasn't, yeah. It wasn't a hero's welcome home, but but now I hope that we're making that up to those soldiers. Last year at the LZ Michigan, like I said before, was one of the best welcome homes that we've ever had, and that was really done by Grand Valley and Fifth Third Bank and Fifth Third Ballpark. Fifth Third Ballpark, and they did a beautiful job on it. Now I understand you were a Navy man, is that correct? That's correct. I was in the Navy. I was in uh, brown water repair. I was in country. You were in country, yep. okay. And but you still served. I but that's unusual, unusual to be in country in the Navy because most of the ships were at sea. Mm -hmm. He was stationed in Da Nang. Were you with him at that time? No, <laughs> I was at home writing letters every night. But you, I mean, you were together at that time. You knew We him. were dating, yeah. You were dating at that time. As a matter of fact, my engagement ring came from China Beach, and so did my wedding band. Oh, and how many years have you been married now? Forty years. Forty years. Oh, congratulations! That's wonderful, and you've had this mission together all these years. Well, you said about 
he's about three wives behind, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the average Vietnam vet's been married like yeah. four times. He's three behind. Oh, he's three behind. But I don't. You've stayed with one for 40 years. Good yeah. for you. That's because she can. She's an understanding, wonderful wife. That's yeah. right. Correct. Right. And we got to say a lot of thanks to the wives that have put yeah. up with us because we did come home with a lot of baggage. I, I'm sure you did. I know that there's, it's, it's overwhelming to think about I know about the a lot of things that wives have to put up with I, I hate to say put up with because well, what they carry what they carry home with you them. have to learn to put up with because if you don't you have a choice you can either stay with them and put up with or you can say goodbye and then you miss out on the person that you love yeah so and today by going through the VA through their PTSD classes which I was diagnosed a year and a half ago with post-traumatic stress disorder that's the PTSD and going, and going through the classes up there has been wonderful and it's really helped a lot and Taking guys if you need yeah take the edge and if you do need it get help and that's why we're out here yes yes do get help and I know that PTSD is very real and even some of our guys that have come back from Afghanistan I worked with a gentleman over at Red Cross, and it's um, it's so wonderful that the VFW is there and that there's help for that post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay. And our chapter in Holland 73, we do have a vet-to-vet -vet program for PTSD also. Okay. Good and, to know. Yes, Good to know. And that's what we're looking for the younger guys. Don't stay out there and don't say, no, I don't have a problem. Come on in and talk to us older guys. We want to help you because there was no help for us, oh. and we want to help you. That's very important. Okay, we're going to take a break, and we're going to interview some other folks here and get a good look at this wall. Thank you, and stay tuned.